I like this stuff, but I need some more. I used it all, so I went and got another can of the same color. So I did most of the this side of the boards, I did them yesterday, and the edges and the I stained the sides, the top, the face, all that. But the bottom side underneath is still raw and untreated. So I decided since I used it all and since it works good or since I like it, I decided to get the same stuff. So I got another one which should be enough to do the bottom sides. I'll just flip them over. They're not attached yet. They're not attached to anything yet. So I'll just flip them over and uh, treat the other side. So this is the, what the bottom of the boards look like. Quite a big difference from when they're stained. I did put some stain uh, in the, some of the cracks and stuff when I was when I was doing them previously, but I've used this paintbrush three times. Talk about recycling. <laughs> well, there's the bottom side done. I used about 90% of the stain again. I sort of wish I had a little bit more and uh, do another coat on the other side but it's it's treated and that should be good well I went and got some screws these are a self-tapping metal type. They're actually a drywall screw for made for metal studs. So uh, they're an inch and five eighths. They're pretty good, pretty good length. And I've been drilling lots of holes. Drill screw, drill screw, drill screw, drill screw. Lots and lots of drilling and screwing. And I'm still not done yet. Oh my goodness. Got all kinds of screws put in there. And it rained again, so I put a tarp over it. And the tarp was all dirty. And it made my wood dirty. Oh well. So, uh... I ran the drill about 150 times between drilling holes and putting screws in. Probably about 75 screws. I used most of that 100 pack. And I got this gate thing off of the side of an old truck at the scrapyard. But I think I'm going to make it a tailgate because they want like eighty dollars for a sheet of that mesh so I think I could do this and uh, save a few dollars I've never made uh, hinges this big before I've made some heavy-duty pivot points on the plow project and stuff but this is about ten inches long and that's only two tubes if I use three tubes, it'll be about 15 inches long each hinge. 
So each section is five inches long. There's two sections there right now. I'm not sure if I'll use two or three. But it should be pretty simple. Should be pretty straightforward. As long as I get everything aligned good, nice and straight. Alignment means a lot with hinges, so I think I'm just gonna weld them, find out where I want to put them and weld one to the gate and weld the other one to the bumper and then put a great big pin through the middle of it I don't know, something like that okay so I took the wire wheel and I cleaned up the spot took the paint off where I want to weld it where I want to weld these tubes here I've got a yellow mark for the center of where I want the first tube to be something something like that Oh look, cracked my friggin' phone again. Anyway, um, I got these tack welded on here. I used a straight edge across the top and tucked it in all the way back so it would be square on both axes. And I found this here which fits inside. So, yeah, so I think my gate is going to be on the outside here, and it'll, the gate will hinge on that. Well, I got her tacked on there, and... I just finished tacking the, the tubes to the gate, the outside tubes to the gate. And she she goes up and down. She's a little bit heavy. A little bit heavy and it does go all the way up and it does go all the way down, so that's good. I just gotta finish finish welding that. That ramp angle looks a little bit steep, but the, the trailer is up on ramps right now, and the front is up on a milk crate, so it's about a foot up in the air. So if the trailer gets down, uh, down on the ground, the ramp would be a little more level, or not quite so steep. Got some fenders. These are aluminum. Aluminum. Oh, shiny. So, I'm just making some brackets. This, I have to extend this one here a little bit. And then later on, I might put a foot a step there. Step plates or something. Got some tail lights and uh, I call these D rings. But I think they were called uh, tie rings or something like that. 5,000 pounds. Oh my goodness. So I got four of those from Princess Auto. And two of these tail lights, they were on sale for like four dollars. So I got two of those for like eight bucks. I tried to get the LED light kits that were on sale, but they were all sold out. So I was building brackets, angle iron brackets and stuff for to mount the fenders. And then I thought, well, I better configure, better figure out what I'm doing with the stake pockets and stuff so I know where to put my fenders. And then I decided that stake pockets aren't as strong as rails. So I put 
We'll put a rail on this side here. Like that. It's not very tall. It's only about six inches tall or something like that. Plus, plus the pipe. I'm not sure. It's only about maybe six or seven inches tall. But that turns your flat your flat uh, frame into like a ladder frame so this is far more stronger than uh, stake pockets and wooden sides it's still possible maybe to have stake pockets but I wasn't really sure where my fender was gonna land because of what sides I was gonna use so I decided to put the put the side on there first so I'm just gonna have shallow rails and uh, maybe later if I have room I might be able to add stake pockets or something but I think these shallow rails will be good so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do the same thing on the other side I made some more of these it's Canada Day weekend did you know friggin rights it is Canada Day weekend. I went to a Canada Day car show even. I got a separate video of the Canada Day car show if you're into that sort of thing. If you're into candy and chrome and all that type of stuff. Friggin' rights. So now I just need to repeat the process on the other side and uh, I've got some more of these made up. I've got a stack of these. Stack. Friggin' stacks on stacks. Made in China. I'm going to be doing a video on this too as well. Also. Pretty soon. I've just been lacking on the video editing. That's something I ordered from eBay for another project. Upcoming project. Well. Got both sides. Tacked on there. And they seem pretty straight and true. I'm going to be putting another... Maybe clean the paint off here with the wire wheel. I'm going to be putting another one there. And... They're going to be every two feet, the same as the cross members. See the screws there? That's where the cross members are. So... They're pretty much going to be in line with the cross members. These are the leftovers from my side rails. And they're cut on 45 degree angles on the, on those ends there. So I don't have one long enough to go all the way across. And I don't want to cut more 45s. So I took these two here and shortened them up just enough to, if you put them together, it'll make one front rail. So I wanted it to be strong when I put them together. So I made this here, which goes inside it's really tight and I have to clean up some of the burrs off of it here from cutting but it fits inside nice and snug tight like that and then I'll slide the other one over this end it'll have a good union it'll keep them nice and true and straight and I can put them together and make one headboard
That don't look too good. Well, I got the rails tacked on all the way around. I just finished the front. I measured the uh, the height, and it's about seven and a half inches tall at the top of the rail here. Maybe uh, maybe a little better than seven and a half. So the shallow rail is not as versatile as what the stake pockets but I think it'll be like a lot stronger well I welded this bracket here on both sides so I did the same thing over there on the other side and uh, that brings it ahead a little bit because the side is closer here and I think I figured what I'm gonna drop the I'm gonna use two more angle brackets to drop it down on both sides because I test fitted it before and it was sitting a little bit high so I'm gonna drop it down on the angle and maybe even a little bit more than that Oh my goodness, the moon. I got a feeling that this guy might be lost. I'm not sure. <laughs> He's trying to find the end of the road and there is no end of the road. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's really going on? <laughs> oh, he took a shortcut. You think he'd figure it out by now? He was just doing laps, like just zoom, zoom, zoom. Well, I took this rusty thing here and cut it in half, basically. And one half is actually a little bit bigger than the other. Oops, my bad. Anyway, um, that's okay because half of this bracket, or this is now, this is going to be a bracket now for me, a taillight bracket. And half of it is going to be sort of inside of the frame, I believe. So that's okay.
Well, I put in uh, one, two more uprights on each side. So now there's one, two, three, four, five, five on each side. And I welded them all completely. And there's three across the front. I started cleaning and painting. So I wire brushed and painted the passenger side. And the fender's just sitting on here right now. So I still need to wire those taillights up and run a harness and mount the fenders. I'm still, uh, I've painted the brackets to put the fenders on and painted the rails so that won't be long to get the fenders on now. Oh my goodness, is this a, one of those newly discovered species? What the frig is going on with this guy? Never seen one like that before. He's ugly. You ugly. Well, taillights are all mocked up. The rails are on and mostly painted. Painted up. I need to do, to do the insides of the uprights, but the rails are on there and pretty much painted. Uh, I'm working on fenders. I got some new fender brackets in there that I decided to go with a different different bracket and bend it a little bit. So now I'm just working on the fenders. Well, successful fender mock-up. So I put some masking tape on there and marked how far out along the line and it needed to be and then I drilled a couple holes, put a couple bolts through. There's only one bolt on each side there right now. But I think that looks pretty decent. I think that'll do. So, I might put two bolts on each side, I don't know, but I'm going to end up putting two more into the rail from the inside here, too. So, it'll have at least four bolts on each one, maybe six. If I have the material and, uh, time I'll probably put some step plates on here like maybe one of those checker plate or something for like to step on well I got both fenders mocked up and on there both tail lights And now I can go ahead and put the screws up into the rails here. Well, I went and got some washers to make myself feel better about uh, some of the hardware mounting. So yeah, I got stainless steel hardware and put some washers on there just in case for extra extra strength and stability and stuff so I've got them on there they're only finger tight two bolts in the back and two in the front and it's, it's pretty sturdy and I'm not done yet so I got two four and I'm gonna put a screw in, on the inside here I'm gonna put a screw into this rail and then the same thing over here 
so I'll probably have to uh, go in here because there's a lip that hangs down on the fender and I'll just go in here and put a screw in from through the lip into there I think I'm gonna use these here what I might do is I might just take the tip off if it's a little bit too long and it's gonna go through the fender and into the into the tube goodness got stainless steel hardware new washers painted the drum with high temperature brake paint and just put two screws up in each corner on the rails so that'll be awesome Yeah. Made in Canadian land. Oh my goodness. Some sort of a stain on there from the plastic wrap. That'll probably come off, I'm sure. Painted that, put the new hardwares in. And these here, these are in good, good condition. And these here actually turn backwards, L for left hand. So I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise counterclockwise I've got a couple compliments today on how good the trailer looks now that I got the aluminum fenders on so that's awesome <laughs> 